Hello, everybody. I am Sekanu. This is Monjeja. And I have chosen to not load the pre ouchie save just yet. I did accidentally drink a healing potion um, just then. I was waiting for the stream to start, but on looking back, I thought, you know what? I had some ideas about what was going in this. I wasn't in the right frame of mind for that. And when I was looking at the what was going on on YouTube, I was like, I did skip some stuff. I think my inklings are right. I'm having a, I think, I don't know whether there's chests or something else here. Part of the problem is, I was tempted to Google this, but I still haven't. But there's clearly a way to either shut down or disable the turrets elsewhere, which would prevent all of this um, turn-based version happening. Um, and I haven't been able to do that, but that's how it goes, isn't it? By the way, the two bonus actors I've used, I also realised speak with animals I hadn't put back on after after something. So just in case I put it back on, even though I'll be going straight to a long rest, we don't know. But I was think when I was doing it, I was like, I was coming down here and I just rushed straight to get inside. And it's like this tree here, because outside of this, there were petals. Now those petals didn't work. They might have been a hint, a hint I was in not the right mood gods are watching to go me. after. So we'll do that. No time to waste. One, two, and three. So we will chip slowly away at what we need to do. Have a lot on my mind. I know you um, do. I well, know. I'm so sorry. This wire is not normally in my way. Why are you in my way? Why is it in my way? Try that. A little bit. Um, nope, went right back to it. Never mind. We'll get used to it. Um, do I have speed anymore? Um, okay, let's just if not continue on as best we can. What's next? I um, and try and solve this mystery. I'm hoping if I just send them down, we come out of environmental action stuff taking nice place like this um and we see what happens but let's be on my way i did i did i rushed in here a long way to go still and i shouldn't have done turn on my little desk fan it was a cold a moment ago and now i am slightly wham but um not action the wake me up action. before you go go style i am saying the word Should warm my stab. So, ah, look, more stuff's glowing. Susur Anti Magic Field. Now, this definitely sounds useful, doesn't it? So, once I look, I just somehow, I saw that I missed it. I just obviously didn't take in its importance. I was like, this is so brightly lit. <laughs> and the petals, they might be what's falling from. This tree, but look at this, Susur Andy Magic Field. Intriguing. Oh, but is that just a way to defeat the turrets then? And because they're, they're they're clearly magic turrets. I don't know if that turns the power on. These flowers. What is this feeling? Deep inside of me. Oh. Yes, the environment doesn't know what to do with itself. Uh-huh. Hey, good looking. Hiya. <laughs> okay. We've picked up two of them. Nothing else of note around. So let me just start heading back. Can't cast spells now. This is intriguing. Uh, and these turns. Get yourself back in there as fast as you can. There's a good lad. Um, does any of my actions allow me to do anything? No. We just keep on cycling through. It will be lovely if I get them out of that floor. If this works. If it doesn't. I am sort of out of ideas there. So we might go back to Brioche. <laughs> just realised I've put a lot of eggs 
in this arcane basket. Which is why they've hatched <laughs> into hideous beasts. Let's get going. It's time to press ahead. What am I to do? Every time I think of an egg basket, I think of the Mr. Strong, Mr. Men book. Not Gaston, as you might have thought. Why would I say something so controversial? Yet so brave. We will never know. These boots have seen everything. Not everything, one JJ. We're still in Act One. Whatever it takes. There's loads left for those boots to see. And I, do, I feel daft. I'm sat here like this, this and I've, I've, done. I've done what I said I wouldn't do and dress Mon Jay just sexily. I mean, differently. What? A slip of the tongue. Breathe deep and move. Oof. Now who's flirting with whom? I have an itchy under thigh. That's a difficult one to work out when you sat down. I was in a nice position then. Well, let's give it a go. <laughs> I don't know how the anti-magic field will do it. They were glowing blue, though. You never know. Ooh. Well, that's... Oh. Will I just add the one, or will I end up adding both? See what happens. Oh! Oh! Ah -ha -ha! It's alive! It's alive! And that turns the turret off! And lights the lanterns! Oh, you rogue! Literally. Oh, thank you, sweet baby Jesus. Who are they? They don't seem happy. Well, they should be. I got got your power working, mate. Okay. Faith End the turn for now. But when we're not out of combat. Um discend. And we're magically all together. <laughs> How do I uh, can I not end everything now? <laughs> What's going on? We're still not out of combat because of those blokes. Back's sake! Just one step forwards and another back. Well, right, well, let's try and gather some books. Go there as best way. you can. <laughs> Enough waiting. I crave blood. Don't burn yourself. Yeah, I'll only send the one out for now, eh? Why are we still in this mode? Supply pack. Sounds good to me. Threadbare book. This threadbare book looks like it once contained a play, but most of it has been lost to time, vermin, and an unfortunate ink spill. Only two full sentences are distinguishable. How can I trust? How will I ever know? How can I show myself my darkest me? How can I trust? How will I ever know? How can I show myself my darkness? Hmm. I can think of better places to enjoy literature than in the depths of the Underdark. Yes, it is weird, isn't it? Um... Okay, so where are we now? What floor have we ended up on? Because we've all merged together again. Ah! Oh, I explored that with Monjaja but missed the book. It was just then right in front of the lift. Uh, so I must have picked some stuff up over here. Um, let's try this. Change name. No turrets. Arcane. Just 
So we can see. I mean, if we all moved together. Uh, it's well be done. Right, were they? Were they? They looked like they were on a higher floor, probably the top floor. So let's ascend. All together. This is turret zone. Okay, I'm with it now. So the game was helpful in bringing Mon Ginger back to everyone. That was the middle floor. We've looked at the bottom floor. Because uh, actually the lift was up from the machine. One floor wasn't it, but it went up there. Yesterday. Uh, <laughs> I think. Anyway. <laughs> Do I have anything at all of use? Well, I can't cast spells, but I don't have any spell slots anyway. I don't, know, I don't want to send that back in case it comes in handy. What have you got here? A uh, journal. Um, these are all just books. Health. Just have to do health. <laughs> oh, there are the petals I picked up outside. So I had some idea. <laughs> I've got one health potion left. Oh, well, we've got our save, haven't we? Oh, there doesn't seem to be the people on this floor. There must be one more floor. Um, I can't see any items, but I don't know whether maybe I'm too far away. Um, Karlak, you're a bit closer at the moment, anyway. So we'll make Karlak our scout. I'd love to, thanks. Excellent. Glad you agree. Marching. Come out here for now. Just do the rounds. What? No time to rest. No, no. <laughs> Well, there was a bit of a boost there from that. It is one step forward. Ah, there were turrets up here as well. Hong Kong. For him, Hong Kong, indeed. Dusty book. Yeah, there's useful information to know that you can't normally see everything from that far away. Can they pick up the dusty book? No. No. I've You've gone, gone as far as you will. Head. My faith will guide me. I have no doubt. Let's go. Let's. Go. She's so happy. Dusty book. The beginning of this book proudly declares it to be a play by Daemonia, followed by an extensive introduction and twenty-three pages of notes on the text. Though the book itself seems barely touched, one stanza is encircled twice. There is a light in everything. It's crawling towards the surface to survive. And in its wake, it tramples everything. We'll kill the rest so that the one can thrive. Hmm. Why are there like plays and poems about? What is that telling us? Nothing at the moment here. So we'll just run over here, Carla. There's a the babe. Traveler's chest. Is that blood? Not to be confused with traveler's checks. Oh, this one's actually useful. We are so doomed. <laughs> Wanna dance? I'm only ascending because it's all I can do, and I'm hoping it being Baldur's Gate 3, I'll have an opportunity to talk my way out of shit. <laughs> Nothing in there. Nothing sure. Is this where I came in? Of course it is! Silly fool of silly fool, and I didn't look at any of the stuff because of all the attack. So we'll loop around here. All right, what now? Oh, enough waiting. I crave blood. As ever. Well, you have been. You Go may <laughs> get your wish. <laughs> Still breathing, despite everything. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. 
Hmm. Oh, wait. I didn't need to bring Karlak around, or did I? I can just ascend. Um... Where are we going? Is this the naughty floor yet? No. Does not look like it. Still another floor to go. Um, okay, with Shadow Art, you've already partially I'm moved. Waiting. I crave blood. Have I scanned it? Yes. Yes, there's the floor I was on. Do that. Helpful hole in the floor. One true way. There's a wooden chest over there. I could go for a good meal. <clears throat> well, you might become one soon enough. Can't give up now. Indolence breeds Indeed. madness. Madness leads Without to delay. suffering. Sorry, stop saying it. I can't. I'm trapped in this mode. Button! Ooh, that's definitely getting saved before we press it, isn't it? <laughs> Press the big button. Ooh, ooh, ah. Not quite enough movement yet to get over there. <laughs> Oh, I can see them. I can see them on my map. Oh, action, not reaction. Indeed. Quick save, all on the floor. Quick save, till you get so quick save. Successful. Nothing. What's the point of a button so near the ground? Okay. Head over there. One true way. What's cooking? <laughs> what have we found ourselves in? The Arcane Tower, actually. What? Can't afford to stay idle. Indolence breeds madness. Madness leads to suffering. Stop saying it! there uh, stuff over there it's all of it's inside anyway oh something can see oh I heard clinkies clinkies come on let's go I'm trying Carlac I really am we're in full-on turn-based mode. These things have stayed interesting. We will die soon enough. Right, shall we get these? Curious. We might learn something. Writing on this torn-out strip of paper is shaking and blotted with tears, making it barely legible. The silence stretches on. I'm all alone. Please, can I hold your hands for just a while? No. Whoa! An engraved disc of Githyanki origin, containing a complex cipher that can decrypt ancient Gith dialects. A useful discovery, if one should encounter such archaic writings. And I picked it up as Lazael. Laziel. Lazael. Who knows what she's called. I don't. I'm just sleeping with her. I can hear them. I can hear them, I can. We all go. Handwritten letter. Dearest Lenore, I loved the smell of your latest vanilla fragrance. <laughs> vanilla? Who has clothes that smell like vanilla? <laughs> I'm not sure I should say this, but your last letter really worried me. Why in all hells would you tame a bullet? That's what fought me outside. Just because you found it near Myrna's grave doesn't mean that it's a sign. I'm really worried about you, Lenore. A ballet is not a pet. It's a ballet. Using it as a guardian is one thing, but you sound quite taken by it. I know you don't want to come back before you finish your research, but if you are feeling lonely, you know my door is always open. Lots of love and hugs, Amarith. P.S. 
It really warms my heart to hear that you put the autumn crocus flowers on Myrna's grave. I remember she liked to roll around in them, even though she'd always sneeze after. She was such a soft, loyal dog. I wish there was more I could do. Oh, Myrna was a dog. The roads to darkness. <laughs> Good luck. Oh, let's get into it. The roads to darkness. Oh, wait. We know what we're doing. The roads to darkness. An epic tragedy about horror, eruption, and loneliness. Prologue. A lonely road. Thunder and lightning. Enter Sirur. Sirur. Loose arms through damp and dark oppression break. Is it the foul that foul contemptuous heal? Or art thou friend, a rescue them by newly wake? Them out of love for me not love but blood and steel. Enter Rissia. This is. How would I know? How would I know, sir? It's been so long, what do I know of you and you of me? Wait. You hear that sound? Enter Amphis. Amphis. What's this? Those figures so familiar both, but still you seem so strange. It's Amphius, whistle. Dear Amphius, what happened to your face? It's pale as death. The rear. Your eyes are black as shawl. And you, I saw your teeth, they're sharp as blades. And what is it with this road so slick with blood? What happened here? What happened to us all? Exeum. And Bello, at war, ten years prior. The rest of the play tells the tale of three elven friends, their paths to power, and how, corrupted, mad, and lonely, they killed each other. A road to darkness indeed. Another engraved Githyanki disc. Good heavens. They can be seen there. Oh, to the grey. To the wall. What's the story? Morning glory. There is work to do. <laughs> I did try very hard with the uh, the voice changer to pick. Uh, you have to be very loud and distinct, but I must have rolled my words into one another. I assumed everything. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Take that. This disc is embellished with the tears. This disc is embellished oh, with tears. Script. Take it then. Tears script adorns this slate. Well, you've got this shit. Use it. I can't use it. Okay. Why are you all out here? <laughs> Get back in there! <laughs> Maps memoirs. My life has been a long succession of pleasures. To see my town take to my ideas and cease legal discrimination of local orcs. To see my fight against horrid living conditions in city factories take off. To have the chance to see a new generation take to these ideas of a better, kinder, fairer, intelligent world and run with it to new reaches of the continent. We are there. Yesterday was an event. <laughs> it was not a life without struggle, however, and I shall find it. It was not a life without struggle, however, and I shall regret its failures. My old friend Soletto comes to mind, who adopted such cruel ideologies later in life, like really sharp heels. No, wait, that was the other one. I will forever console myself in the idea that such a brilliant mind would only conceive such theories under the strain of exile and the promise of reinstatement, as she ultimately was. Um. <laughs> yes. What do you think's wrong with them? <laughs> Two on one, one on six, one on sixteen. <laughs> yes, we have uh... a. <laughs> 
Mind flayers? Where was that? I want it. This book comprises several chapters, one for each cited source. It claims to contain first-hand inscriptions of the oral histories of several storytellers throughout the realm. Chapter 4, Palador the Swift, 700 years of age, wood elf storyteller hailing from the wood of sharp teeth. It took me several ten days of quiet habitation in the wood before the venerable Palador felt comfortable revealing his presence to me. The longer I stayed, demonstrating I was no threat to his health and peace, the more open he was to gentle inquiry. This tale, relayed to me on a chilly morning as we stoked a small fire between us, was like none I had heard before or since. I asked if it were fiction, and he insisted emphatically it was as true as his own right eye, which of course had been removed by an angry squirrel years before. Long ago, before my eyes and ears, before your lonesome quill, dear scribe, there was an empire of people, or perhaps only belief, an empire of brain eaters, soul wasters. They called themselves Ilfids, the ma flayers of minds, Ilfids, flayers of minds. The children of Gith were bowed, bent in service to the flayers, a passion of people made to serve a cold belief. The flayers were untouchable, their minds a great oppressor. No proud will or passion could break Gith's children free. Until at last, a reckoning its source unknown, its power unproven, but its events history-making. The cowed would not be cracked. Gith's children fought back valiantly. Their freedom theirs, the flayers bent and broken till today. To the great! Why won't you take it? I don't want to read, I want to take it. The disc appears in your mind's oh, there we go. eye. Lazel sees it too, and considers the vision. Tisu markings. Ancient. I recognize them, but I can't make sense. No. Wait. <laughs> the texts are enciphered, but I've solved the pattern. Have it's a, a story. About... About Orpheus. Your head buzzes in concert with Lazel's, But it hardly matters. Even without the connection, you'd recognize her discomfort. She feels it every time you make love to her. <laughs> Tiasu, you said. What does that mean? Githyanki writing. Every word a wheel. Every letter is spoke. The most powerful texts are engraved in slate. Some so ancient, only the most erudite Gish can read them. Who is Orpheus? A traitor. A dead one. Ah. This text is heresy. I can hardly bear to read it, let alone speak it. Let's talk it over in my bed. You'll bear it just fine. Tell me what it says. Okay. Very well. I will read it to you. The Prince of the Comet. That's Tillamassu. <laughs> you racist. So it was that we were free from gay shackles and turned our blades on each other. The heavens were shattered, and one great empire was divided in two. Gith traveled to the Hells to broker help for her people, her cause. Vlakith would have you believe Mother Gith proclaimed her our queen. Lies. Gith made no such proclamation. Vlakith seized the empire against the Mother's wishes. What a bastard. But Gith had nurtured a son, Orpheus, Prince of the Comet, the true heir. He knew Vlakith's treachery. Orpheus rallied Gith's honor guard and declared the throne for himself. The War of the Comet had begun. Lord, can you believe it? Disregard this, this drivel. Gith declared it's going Vlakith to be queen of the empire rude. and her own <laughs> son defied her. Orpheus would have ceded control to the Gaeth. And if it's true, it sounds like Vlakith betrayed Gif and seized the throne. Story rigs a propaganda and attempts to foment discontent. Why are you so worked up? It's only a story. Perhaps. She did nothing of the sort. Thank your good fortunes, I'm a tolerant woman. Or I'd have sliced off a few toes for suggesting it. Well, you'd have nothing to put in your mouth, would you? We'll talk about Echo with Shadow Heart another time. <laughs> it's not, re not really for now. Where's this to the grey book? Over here? No. There it is. 
From Barrack Herm we made our stand, meant to rule but led astray. By wicked tentacle and wicked hand, this world belongs to the Grey. Orindol stole all we had, yet taught the weapons by which to slay. Forge your minds to ironclad, this world belongs to the Grey. The exile freed us with his command to conquer what was taken away. Crush every monument into finest sand, this world belongs to the Grey. Trade your heart for steel intent, for with whip and mind we flay. Let them all hear of our descent, this world is nothing but Grey. Love, Mum. Wooden chest, what are you doing over there? I was taught. Wah! Um. Wait. <gasps> We're out of combat at last. <laughs> In combat mode for hours. <laughs> That's why you joined me. Oh, look at this. I'm walking with the analog stick. No one stopped me yet. Oh, oh sweet dexterous. <laughs> dexterous thumbs. <laughs> oh, excellent. And we have a save before ascending to this. Hi! You know these words. They are from the opening stanza they of the are. you found <laughs> in this very tower. Oh. Oh, the, the first one's definitely the right answer. Not much of love for me. Not enough for blood and sin. Oh, how can I try? Oh, can I just can I just look at my pack? That's it. That's it. Commanders, you see fit. Um, come out of love for me, not love for blood and steel. Commanders, you see fit, my lord. My liege, how can I trust? How will I ever know? How can I show myself in the darkness for me? There is a light that science switches on. It's that, isn't it? The hold your hand one. Of course, my love. And I'm so don't be afraid, sweet girl. What can I do? Oh, sorry. Uh, well, I don't know that one. I'm fine, thanks. You are stronger than you have in you. Remember, I am always here for you. And you will never walk this path alone. He's going to kill me, isn't he? Level up? <laughs> what? What just happened? Was I raped? <laughs> I can keep going a little longer now. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. I, I need a mo. You can't pause it. Oh. oh, this has been a journey of reflection, of self-contemplation, but not of death. No, not of death. Oh, I am saving over that one because I'm a mad bastard. Oh. Well, Crazy Bernard, it was a pleasure <laughs> to not die at your hands instantaneously. I can walk. I can sing! <laughs> Looking ahead. Level, level up, level up, level, level up. Level five. Uncanny dodge, we love it. <laughs> Oh, that's not bad, that. There you go. 
Jesus wept. Oh, I is Shadow Heart. Sorry about that, love. I require that. Level 3 spell sets of Lord. Destroy undead. Animate dead. Then destroy them. Beacon of Hope. Your allies will regain the maximum hit points possible when healed. You also gain advantage on wisdom saving throws and death saving throws. Jesus Christ! Bestow curse. You already know this spell. You already have access to a better version of this spell. Daylight. Turn that to shine like the sun. Pain death. Put an ally in a protective coma. <laughs> Glyph of warding. Mass healing word. Kill me, my allies. Remove curse. Revive. If I speak of dead spirit guardians, bestow curse. I already know this spell, but this is a better version. Fear. Oh, good lord. Your wounds. Why have I got that? Get out of it. Sanctuary, please give us sanctuary. Well, where was that? Oh, I'm beacon of hope one. Oh, she can do that. Well. Well, we'll do that for now. Now the girl's shadow heart. Extra attack. You can make an additional free attack after making an unarmed or weapon attack. If you gain the extra attack feature from more than one class, they don't add together. Misty step. <laughs> Place spell. The amount of spells you can have fixed in your mind is limited. As you level up, you may wish to replace all the spells. Well, what have I got? Love it. Love it. Love it. Oh. What can I bring in? So I quite like all of them. I just don't. I don't use burning touch. But which bolt is useful? The sprint. Don't need enhanced sleep as you. Ice knife. Grease. I love the grease as a pig. You know. It's funny that. It is funny. Um, long strider. Yeah, I was looking at that. I think especially for laser. I think I will do that. Oh, I didn't do it! <laughs> oh, shit. I pressed the wrong button. <laughs> <laughs> hopefully I can change that. Ooh, hopefully I can change that after that. Well I did just save. I'll just do it again just in case. Extra attack, fast movement. Um do I still like Wolf Heart? Raging, you can use exciting cow and your allies have advantage on many attack rolls. Uh jump distance is bigger, movement speed increase. We'll go with that one this time for now. Elk piercings? Where? On your, on your nips? Oh, I see. Yes, yeah, so you've got to get the piercings to match your skill. Excellent. Okay. Well, I'm just going to have to briefly redo that. <laughs> now. Out. In. Strider. Perfect! <sighs> Elk. Oh, so it's like branding smite. Possibly marks your target with light, preventing it from turning invisible. Good. Glyph of Warding. Okay, I'll have a little look at it. Yeah, I know we're going to swap our spells out whenever. That is good to uh, have. Yes, I, I know that one. I'm on to that one. So. I am so shiny. Have some broken machinery, thank you. He's looking okay. <laughs> I 
believe I did this. I made it through the wilderness. Somehow I made it through. Didn't know how lost I was until I found you. Why are you looking up there? Patch pop. This paper is torn and patched in many places as if it was well used but treasured. On it is a small poem without a name. These empty sheets are all that's left of you, the last of all the thoughtless gifts you gave. I will hold on to them, it's all I can do. I can't throw them away, I've never been that brave. That. I'll have a bit of that as well. You know, just why the tech, Moss? I'll talk to you again. Will you make sense? <laughs> what is this place? <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> okay. Goodbye. <laughs> you know what? Sometimes there just isn't answers. And that's okay. <laughs> we got here. Nearly died. Horrifically. But we got here. I think all that's a dead end. So there's clearly other ways down here. Sharon Temple for the Night Song. So either I need to do more exploring up in the world above. Or probably, well, it depends though, because if I think about where the placement of this is, assuming it's still the only speaks in poems is. So it would seem. Um, this is the far west of most of the map anyway because it's under the goblins um, even if it's backtracked a bit towards the east it's like it's still there um, there's a lot of underdark to explore and now I didn't descend all the way. There was that. I think there's a basement. Um, I saw stairs that I could not access. Um, I'm not sure where I am. Just keep descending. Oh, you can't descend any further from here. Is it? Yeah, I've been here. For those knowing about Cersei trees, their magical properties have always been a topic of debate. Not only is their ability to create an anti-magic aura, which is complete enough that even those unattuned to the weave can feel its effect, but also, most interestingly to those living in the world above, the way its roots, bark and flowers can be harnessed to make magic items. Rumours of such items are rare, but spread in settlements bordering the autumn underdark. Their existence, however, has never been confirmed by any of our clerics, nor by any of our other reputable scholars. I hypothesize that these items are Nomian legends, and indeed, in this treatise, I will endeavor to explain how I myself created items that have anti magic properties, and I use the magical absorption of the Susurf tree's flowers as a power source. So that's how I could have figured shit out. Never mind my suspicion of the brightly that. Ah, there's the hole that you could come in if you were that way inclined. Of that. Amazing. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, 
stop moving pot. Out of it. Lever. Oh. <laughs> Close the door, not this. See, because I can clearly see it's down. I'm not getting like any checks. And I missed something, I now have more freedom of movement. Or maybe what if I answer him with the other poems? I'll do that first. And then I'll go exploring a bit more freely. Shut star needs to too. Jump down there. <laughs> no. <laughs> Keep on ascending. Oh, we can't ascend any further. So let's speak to you with the other bones. Not do anything. My lord, you do not believe the secret shell. Reveal the truth. Do what you wish to see. Bernard, the secret. An automaton named Bernard rewarded us with this precious ring. Command is if you do. My lord, help. Run me. Oh. I'm an idiot. I'm such a regular idiot. That's not it. Bernard, I've lost your ring. Is it like Bernard's watch? Wait, is it? Oh. To access the Underdarks and their own basement. Basement! Ooh. My ring lit up. <clears throat> Basement button! Ha ah, ha There's a basement! I told you there was a basement! I did that all on my own. I was never going to put that ring on. <laughs> ah, some Tamask spores. And I think, I assume, that's it. Goodbye. Thank you very much. That's magic of the weave. If you try to understand the weave, a true pity, for only they who are truly attuned to the weave can rightly call themselves spellcasters. Thus comes the question, what is the weave? It is an essential element of the universe. It runs through everything in unseen threads. It is what makes magic possible. It is also, though I will not go into further detail here, the goddess Mistra herself. See, Magic of the Weave, Mistra, and the Spell Plague. The Weave isn't magic, precisely. Rather, it is the raw material from which magic is woven, not entirely unlike how a collection of threads is shaped and formed into a garment. Those with the necessary talent and skill can manipulate the Weave and perform magic by casting spells. Developing this skill takes years of learning and constant practice. You may have heard of those who can cast spells because they are born with an innate connection to the Weave, commonly called sorcerers. Or worse, because they struck a bargain with an otherworldly creature, also known as warlocks. Do not be deceived. Their magic is unpredictable, uncontrolled, and in some cases, not even rightfully theirs. No, to truly know and manipulate the weave is an art. But those wizards who master it will know the limitless power and beauty the weave provides. Let's see. Buffleth Goyle. Soul coins, treaties. We've got one of them. A soul coin, not a treaty. Academic disclosure. This research was funded independently and conducted as a site in Avernus, the first plane of the Nine Hells. Candlekeep does not encourage or promote the entrapment of mortal souls. Soul coins, as a concept, are one of merciless simplicity. The sum of personal and magical essence, the soul, 
is bound into a minted piece of infernal iron and used as currency by devils and their cohort. They are frequently traded for their value, can purchase mercenaries, magical items, and even fuel the strange engines in the hells. I know we can put one in Carlap if we wanted to go. Um, that's the technical term. However, there is a fascinating culture surrounding soul coins as well. I spoke to a devil who admitted she has one coin that she will never sell, for it was the bargain that got her promoted out of Lemur status. She connected me to a half-elf warlock who had promised his soul to a coin after death. I was able to look at his contract, which is reproduced below. The next 50 pages appear to be a painstakingly written legal document in Infernal, with a headache-inducing number of footnotes. Ta, ta, what's that? Say? An excerpt from the true and impossible adventures of Tenebrum Morrow, a pulp serial following the real-life exploits of an interplaner's ship's captain. The real Captain Morrow is known never to have left her native water deep and emerges from her rooms at the yawning portal only to exchange scrawled manuscripts for fresh meals and ink. It is quite a feeling to fall forever. Of course, fall does not exactly describe it, nor indeed does fly. Each patch of sky in the elemental plane of air is bound by no laws but its own, rendering petty attempts at directional definition meaningless. It is exactly this ferocious freedom that makes a plunge through the eternal bloom the only way I've learned to truly relax. You seem distracted, observed Aruz, shouting to be overheard by the howling wind. Heard over the howling wind. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> that the goblin could so easily pierce my inscrutable facade was no surprise to me, for she is a sage of considerable wisdom and a lifelong friend to boot. I am, I acknowledged, expertly adjusting my posture to avoid a drifting a la crocker next. Easy for me to say. Lord Primus was forewarned of my contract to infiltrate his mind palace. I had to leave my entire crew on Macarnus just to escape alive. I could sense her frown beneath the bleached bone skull that eternally obscured her face. It was an affectation of her monastic order. Monastic order. And just one of the many things I had never truly understood about her. All perished? Surely the traitor was among them. Perished? Oh no, I traded them. Lord Primus wished to study mortal mannerisms and he was most forthcoming with the identity of my betrayer in return. I reached out across the divide and slipped from her finger the ring of command. With the loss of the magical item, she instantly ceased to fly and began to fall in earnest. A subtle distinction, but an important one. Her screams were already lost to the whipping wind by the time new bride loomed into view. I climbed aboard, weighing my, the ring in my palm. Its exact twin was nestled upon my own finger forged by a rules many moons ago as a symbol of our undying friendship. Worry not, dear reader. She is my friend still, and it is my fully my intention to return and catch her someday. <laughs> I want to know more. Love a bit of pulp. Staff of Arcane Blessing, is it? Oop. The Tongue of Madness. <laughs> That's my Tinder profile name. How did they know? Gilded chest. The Sparks Wall, 182 quid. Dehurst's Diary. Crisp cursor fills the page of the diary detailing the daily struggles of a cleric of Mistra studying the magical properties of the Underdark. The last entry dates back about 10 years. To Altoriac, 1481DR. Who would have thought three years ago that I would start a diary? Not a research journal, but a real diary. I guess when every soul is more like to kill you than converse with you, talking to a book starts to making sense. And who would have thought three years ago that I would be called back to Baldur's Gate to confer with the other clerics of Mistra, right at the apex of my studies? I have all the pieces, but I have barely started my treaties. No matter. I will take my ring with me to show them a glimpse of the possibilities. I will leave you, my dear Buck, here, together with the rest of my research, waiting to be finished. I should be back before next chaise. LDH. I guess next chaise came and went. Elminster said Naloth was a wonder to behold when it floated in Faerun's sky. He was surely right. This Netherese enclave was once a jewel in the Empire of Magic, with towers that pierced the heavens. 
and yet it fell, just as all Nethri's enclaves did, crashing down when Karalsus's folly ripped magic from the world. That's what Gale was telling us about, I believe. But even after it collapsed into the sea, its ruins still held a strange, twisted beauty. I travelled here from Halrua, where I heard the sea had retreated and the ruins of Naloth were visible once again. Alas, I was not the first. Losers have stripped the enclave of its material wealth, destroying much of its esoteric riches in the process. I found arcane books used to make campfires, their magic lost now to the ages. I have met some Shadowvar here whose interests align with mine, and we've agreed to search the ruins together. I'm grateful for these allies. The ruins are mostly filled with thick skulled adventurers, and I cannot shake the feeling that someone is watching us, waiting to see what we uncover. Go on. <gasps> Metal door. Where are we? Oh, of course. And then there's a go. Look at that. Completed it, mate. Um, no. So what was? We picked up another ring, didn't we? This one. The Sparks Wall. The wearer can't be electrocuted. When the inventor Yuri met the clerical in awe, sparks flew. Apart, they were in a rut, but together they inspired each other to push the boundaries of innovation and invention. <laughs> Inventions, some might call them. This ring is just one of their many scientific triumphs. I've got a couple of fancy rings, have I? Good Lord, I'll need to have a look at that. But today is not that day. Darn it. Probably would have been better to go back, because I want to go and speak to Barnaby or whatever his name is. Probably would have been better to go down to the basement. Here now. Ugh. Oh, yeah. Bernard, that was it. Some sheets. Bedlam. Lovely. A potion of greater healing. Far better. Come on, see, see, see. Right. 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 It tramples everything. Oh no. Oh. <laughs> Why am I such a prick? <laughs> yeah, I thought it might, but it won't because <laughs> we're doing all that again. Well, at least like most of that was reading. <laughs> I don't think we got this one, did we? We didn't. <laughs> all worth it, eh? An excerpt from the ongoing metatext rebound by Josfa Elgin, a scholar excommunicated from the Church of Denia for her heretical efforts to reconstruct the metatext, her god's annal of lost and hidden knowledge. Of what value was life far too esoteric a topic to warrant any serious critical consideration between these pages, surely? Or so it would seem at first glance. But once we push aside the mysticism and dewy-eyed sentiment, so often clouding our assessment. It is clear that across all the spinning planes, each and every life does indeed have a quantifiable value. It is simply that not all are equally valuable. Consider, 
We already know that the destruction of our material form is not the end. If anything, our souls are more free after death, transcending planar barriers in search of a resting place that best befits our deeds, beliefs, and station in life. But even this assessment is subject to market forces. Lord Kellamavor, in fact, invested in crypto, so his soul has gone below the nine levels of the hells. Weighing our souls against how thoroughly we have given them over to our other gods, empowering them in turn. There is, of course, an alternate route, not the end of the path, but the chance to retread it. Clerics across the realms wield the power to return life to any soul deemed worthy or willing enough. It is strange, then, that these so frequently intersect with those deemed wealthy enough, for the components for such a spell are beyond the means of most mortals. I have interviewed those who have made such a return, and in truth have found them to be of the most dull and unimaginative sort, and I cannot possibly imagine what it is they were so eager to return to. If a true assessment of the journey is to be made, then there is simply no replacement for embarking upon it oneself. Perhaps, one day, this great volume of learning will make me worthy enough to walk that path, and wealthy enough to return. Cool. First diary. We've read it. Open the pile of books. There's nothing in that pile of books, Mon. Soul coins are treaties. The illustrated adventures of... What? Well, that's new, isn't it? This book is packed full of tales and adventure. The monsters are ferocious, the men are muscles, the women are buxom, and the clothing is easily torn. Something is cleft in twain on every other page, although you do find a passage that's a little less bloody. The woman's eyes were dusky, filled with mystery and promise. Balderan was intrigued. Anything? he asked. Anything, she said. Just name it, and it can be yours. And what do you want in return? Oh, just a small thing, she smiled. Baldur and laughed. Nothing about him was small. <laughs> he, he was he was average size. He, he, he'd done studies. I want your soul, Baldur, she sighed. Give me your spirit, and whatever you desire shall be yours. Baldur considered this for a moment. Very well. I want a turnip. She hesitated. Your soul in, a, in exchange for a turnip? A nice turnip, nodded Balderan. Very well. Dark smoke swirled around the woman, whose skin was turning red. Then you shall. The next couple of pages have been torn out. When the story resumes, the woman, now fully revealed as a devil, is kneeled at Balderan's feet. Curse you, Balderan! I am bound to you, yours to call upon when you need me, and your soul is your own once more. Well, that be a lesson to you, laughed Balderan. Never underestimate the power of a turnip. <laughs> Down to the basement. And ascend one. And that's the way it's done. Oh no, it's not the way out. I'm an idiot. <laughs> Boiled by my own stupidity. How did they know to use that against me? Could they open the door now? Yes, there's a lever there. Lovely. Da, 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 da. Well, we've had a time of it, haven't we, everyone? <laughs> Can we make camp here? I'd like to. <laughs> I'm the night song. Daughter of darkness. We can make camp. Fantastic news. Um, well, we don't need this. All the time being. Um, well, I've read all these books for once, so I can sell them to Gay Abandon. <laughs> they had to imagine, because it's in that fucking chest. That's fucking brilliant. <laughs> um, 
we'll all have chats in a second, I think. I'm just... Let's talk to you, Volo. Ah, my... Quite the cosy setup you have here. I'll just make myself comfortable. Thank you so much. Yes, enjoy. So, we need some potions of healing. Potions of animals we can go always. Get some extra thieves tools. What else have you got? Mad bastard. Whispering promise. I haven't done a flute. I have loads of money. Just get the supplies in. Potato! What's that? A shattered flail. Okie dokie. Well, we can sell all these now. Excellent. Excellent indeed. That's just a silver necklace. No one gives a shit about that. Um, be potions there. Very, very... <laughs> Dangerously few potions now. <laughs> oh yeah, where's that staff I saw before? Maybe I should like be de decking out like other people and stuff as well. But um, oh, I don't remember what Harper's map is. Lazael, you picked up. A load of shite. I don't remember that. Let's see if that Prince's journal. Yeah, done that one. In the mind flayers. I feel like we shouldn't quite sell that, to be honest. Out to the darkness. Three impossible ventures. Two the grey. Two torn out paper. And Carl you picked up some rope and a dusty book. That feels all right now, doesn't it? Doesn't that feel all right? Come on, you're always just right up against the edge, aren't you, you mad bastards? Oh, a bit of a mad one. Um, I mean, some of this stuff I'm never using, but some of it I'm constantly using. A bit of a bind, really. You get up to 250 now. Because you're all level thingy and shit. Yes, lovely. Should we have chats, everyone? Chats all around. We've been through a bit of an experience together. I don't think there'll be any more trouble between Lazelle and I, if you were wondering. Uh, it was a little bit. We can all sleep easier now. Well, apart from all the rest. Couldn't give a shit. <laughs> I don't want to fight having again. I'm surprised you didn't leave. That's good. I'd rather keep things. You simple. have an interesting definition of friendly, but yes. Uh, that's fine. Starion, dear boy. Oh, I really thought Shadowheart and Lazel might fight to the death over that artifact. I, I bet you a did. Pity. It would have made for a fine night's entertainment. Yes, yes course. We'll catch up again soon, dear fellow. Uh, Carlac, hello, hello. Soldier. I'll leave now. Desire. Oi. Oi. Speak. Hello. <laughs> it is so over now. where I am concerned. Good. That's a relief. We won't survive this if we don't stand together. It is through conflict that we strengthen our bonds. Yet I do not recommend Shadowheart seek it again. The next resolution may not end in her favor. Mm. Lovely. Vault. Hello, boring. I mean, well. I hope that's the end of this silly quarrel. 
They'll have no energy for battling our enemies if Lazel and Shadowheart are too busy squabbling among themselves. <laughs> I know. I don't know what you've well, got to say. Goodbye. Withers! Gail, how are you doing? I'll say one thing for our troop. We're not short on drama. I'm glad Shadowheart and Lazel settled their differences peacefully. Eventually. It took like three minutes, mate. Lovely, jubbly. Whoopa. Whoopa. Right, let's put that day behind us. It was a hell of a thing. Just double check there's nothing you want to talk to now we're all. Hey, soldier. Chilling for the evening. Oh, they usually have little exclamation marks, actually, don't they? Double check. May the darkness Once. protect you. And also with you. It's fine, 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 fine. Maybe you don't have an exclamation point. Neither do you. To bed. Uh, perfect. He's back! Hello! Stop. Blood hurts. Your blood hurts? You're hurt? Let me see. You're damn right I'm using my one inspiration for this. Still, I'll make it better. I made it better. As the wound closes, the cub begins testing his weight on the leg. Good. No hurt. How did this happen? Teeth. Claws. Bigger. Oh no. The teeth claws bigger. You brought something bigger than you. Why? Strong. Fight. Win. Take on something closer to your own side. And did you kill any? Kill? No. Strong. Show you. Don't attack me. Oh, brilliant. Now we'll never be rid of it. I told you it's time we had a pet in our relationship. It's the next important step. Carlac is inspired. Excellent pose. We still haven't gone to bed. Let's go to bed. No drama. First things first. Lovely. Is he here? Is he... Is he two yellow dots? Gee! The dog is unable to speak through the small bag he holds in his mouth. I did not know. What have you got there, Scratchy? I don't know. Maybe you can tell me. All I know is I thought of you when I saw it. <laughs> Pet him. Good boy wants scratches. <laughs> yes, he does. Oh, yes, good, yes, good. Oh, yes, good, yes, good, yes, good, yes, good. Yeah. I got a bow. Hello, Hello. Albacup. You are not food. You are friend. That is the best compliment I've had all week. You like it here, huh? Nice here. The caves smell like rotting meat. <laughs> goblin cat smells like goblins. <laughs> Pet the cub. Ooh, more. Oh, he likes it. Do him. Ooh, 
Ah. Ah. You eat scratch. Oh, he's going to eat scratch, isn't he? Well, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. By which I, of course, mean murder him. And it's all about this morning. Exclamation mark of things. Let's uh let's head out. Oh, don't you just feel fantastic? Okay, so let's head back this way. Oh, wasn't there a little chest over here I didn't get? Really proud that we did that. Oh, there's all sorts. Oh, there's a chest there. Jesus. It's locked. If only there was something I, a rogue, could do it about it. Think we're in. Someone else can have it for a bit, if you wouldn't mind. I am carrying an immense amount of shit. Uh, you can have it. You can have that as well. You don't mind holding it for me, do you, babe? You're wearing it. Oh no, no, I'm not. Ah, let's give it to uh, to Carla. Soldier. Let's do, let's do a bit of uh, housekeeping. Housekeeping. What were these other magic rings I've got as well? I picked them up as, as they are, that's why I didn't realise. So, Major's friend, we'll give that to Shadow Heart, obviously. Spurred band. During combat, when the wearers start with their term of 3% hit points or less, they gain momentum for one turn. Well, that just helps add to this whole 50 points or less shite. So, put that on you. Yeah. No time to dally. Oh, not at all. Um, yes, yeah, so you have that. Oh, yeah, this one as well. Um, oh, that's for Still Money J J boys. Uh, he's he's not. Progress. Lovely jubbly. Gale can have that. You can either fight with it or munch on it. I don't really care. Um, um, I don't think that's about it, really. Ooh. I guess there's all sorts of stuff here. Let's head to Yuri. Dearest Yuri, I don't know if you're coming back, if you'll even read this message, but if you do come back, could you wait for me? I'll only be gone a few ten days, but the thought of coming back to this empty tower with nothing but Bernard to fill these halls. I don't know how much longer I can take this. I miss you. I miss you so much. I can't shake the thought of how different things might have been if only I'd been less stubborn. Working on your lightning inventions, my magic, eating together, laughing at your stupid puns waking up next to you. Despite everything, I still love you. So please, if you read this, can you wait? I'll be back. I won't be long. Forever yours, Lenore. A few sentences of pen down below in a different hand. I waited. I waited till Tarsac. I'll always wait for you, but you didn't come. 
You need to find out what hair needs are, that's why. Some ingots. Oh, come on, everyone. Lighten the load. It's of vital importance you carry these bronze ingots. <laughs> and silver ones. Garlack, like you can have them. Where have the bronze ones gone? Is anyone keeping an eye on me bronze ingots? Can I have that as well? Oh, did we put the thing on? Hello, oh, we did. Good. Looking ahead. Good, good, good. I put a spell on you. Straight down to the right. <clears throat> we can get over. Can we get over them ways at all? A cabin. Looks abandoned. Glad you're all joining me for this. There's a cragged rock there. Um, yeah, go on. Let's go that way first. <clears throat> Excellent news. We're exploring. That might be worth a look. Ooh, it might well be. Let's just shovel out your asshole. Good boy. For fuck's Shards sake. blessings upon you. Fine. What's on your mind? Can we look at it, please? Have that, have that, have that. Say, I'm not taking it all. I'm not a fool like I once was. Bloop. Very good. I chose correctly. Let's go down and have a little look see. Why? ourselves a waypoint everybody spattered diary a badly charred diary with the property of Wolbrun written on the inside cover in one of the few legible entries the author wonders if he'll ever see his friend Barkus again now that he's departed for the service world the approach of the least volume 5 I think I've got another volume of that somewhere we'll stack them up we all have all the god shite as well exciting <clears throat> There's rope netting to use there, but um, no. Let's do what we did before. Let's let's stick with it. Let's get down there. What creatures live in waters this dark. I think it's best we never know. Water damage letter. A water damage letter imploring the recipient to be cautious around the far shore of the Ebon Lake, as Duergar are rumored to be prowling the area. Execute deep low. Potion of healing. Should have used it, boy. Should have used a stone of ice knife. Good light. Plonk. Oh no. They never happen at good moments. We threw a surprise party for Ironfoot. How that idiot made it past 150 is a mystery, but it's cause for celebration either way. When he saw the fire whiskey, I should get into it. When we saw the fire whiskey we've been brewing, I swear he teared up. I'd only a cup of the stuff, but I can't feel my tongue anymore. The lunatic finished the barrel that night. I have no idea how he made it to his next shift, but Myrna claims she needed him inside the wagon to guard inventory. The borough warden didn't say a word when the snores started. 
lie about as lucky she's got a soft touch. I'd best get some sleep. Orders just came in for practice shovels and pickaxes for younglings. Now I've yet to harvest the zerkwood. Where's the time go? That accent went on the little journey. Too loud, sun scum. Heard you stumbling. Can hear you blinking. Could have been hiding. Noise gets you eaten down here. Reckon I'll hush you before something hungry comes along. Okay. His gnarled fist grips an axe. See what we can do. Take your hand off that ass before you lose it. I got this. Told you. Fine. I'll let you live. No, that didn't take much. But spoil my hunt. And you're dead. What hunt? What are you doing? Told you. Hunting. Slave ran away. Took Sergeant Thrin's boots. What a Kill a slave and fetch back Find the Find the missing boots. Well, the bosses in Moonrise will have friends hide. Can you really kill someone for a pair Sergeant of boots? Sergeant told me to. Besides, we're talking about a slave. All fair points. Maybe I could help. Help? You don't even know what you'd be up against. Slaves got herself some protection. Hiding up there in a myconid circle. Can't get past those rot flowers. They get in your head, make you see things. Half my squad jumped off a cliff, laughing. You did see a mushroom circle before. I'll wait here. She'll make a run for it eventually. Then I'll get her. Yeah. I'll help you. Good. Do well, and there might be a reward for you back at camp. Do really well, and who knows? Maybe the Absolute will have space for you in her ranks. I'm a chosen one. But that comes later. Boots first. Then you'll get what's coming to you. What's she Deep like? Gnome Slave. They all look the same. But this one's got fancy boots. Who's so? It's with the rest of our expedition across the lake. Special mission for the Absolute. I'll bet. Very good. Take a bit of that. Novice Gamor. Not going to use your bow up just yet. What's me at logbook, is it? A ledger detailing the appearance and quality of numerous gemstones that have been mined from rock. Weight, colour, clarity and more are noted next to a sketch of each stone. An underlined entry for a sizeable ruby is written in shaky, excited, squiddle strokes. Well, we'll head up. You encumbered again. On JJ. What are you playing at? He's a mad little bastard, he is. A mad little bastard. What's my heaviest shite? Does it really matter if I don't wear underwear? It's only not blue ones. Why have I still got this dude? Five. Well, that's four point five. We should be selling there. So how heavy are these cell coins? They're not heavy at all. 
But it is you who should have them, not me. So it just clears up my inventory anyway. With your crossbow, to my crossbow as well. All right, what now? I will leave the lack of light for now. You got lucky there, Gemstown. Go this way away from the drow bastard. Go. Crooked wand of fireballs. This will encumber on JJ. Well, it's worth a hundred coin. It's encumbered again. <laughs> this is getting ridiculous. Right. Have that for us. Thank you. I might as well, don't mind. I do appreciate it. I thought they were 3.4 each, then it was like, oh, yo, what? Um, what is weighing me down? Do you know what I mean? Mostly the camp supplies. Makes sense <laughs> to have them back at camp. Up the rope netting we go. <clears throat> Keep finding our way around the place. There's loads of dead bastards. Oh, hang on. Hello. What in the nine hells is that? They're coming. They're coming. Tell me I'm not imagining. Careful. If we can hear it, perhaps it can hear us. They are coming. You are coming. Are we having sex? Is that what's happening? What's happening? Jesus. Corpses. These creatures did battle with Dwergar. No, 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 no. Rapport spores. Doesn't seem uh, like quite a normal thing. Careful. Even the mushrooms down here can't be trusted. Yes, yes. Sorry, Carlac. Thought we were out of the range of it. I was wrong. There's some Mykonids up there. Reckon that's who was ever to chat. Boop. Oh, 
I'm befuddled. <laughs> that was mad. Hello, friends. You are swallowed by a chorus of turbulent music oh. through one creature sing many voices. The harmony of an entire collective. Sovereign, he has come. He is here. The choir. Bon Jaja, ja. lovely to meet you. A single melody rises above the others, brassy and commanding. Sounds sexy. I am sovereign. You see a vision. Your lifeless body wrapped in fungal tendrils. The sovereign is threatening you. Well, that was a your purpose. Exploring. Focus on your parasites and connect the sovereign. Tell the truth of the parasites. You only seek safe passage and search for treatment. Let me pass. I've come for the runaway gnome. I'm a traveler seeking adventure. Oh, it's these. Seek understanding. Focus on sovereign song. My purpose is private. Let me pass. I'll leave you unarmed. I'll kill you. Come on, parasite. The parasite is quiet. You oh. feel no bond with the creature. Darn it. Ooh. That's a low floor on this one. You detect a distinct quiver in every note. These creatures have experienced recent tragedy. What has befallen you? I sense your fear. I've come to aid you. Fungal roots weave through your mm -hmm. mind, seeking your true intent. Then the sovereign drones a new melody. Cautious. But welcoming. Descend to me. Let us speak in flesh. The persistent music coaxes you forward. The sovereign yes. expects you. Looks fucking sick. Hello, everyone. Are you the runaway gnome? A fast travel circle. Lovely. There's a shop. Who are you? Hello. Ah, a visitor. You're a welcome sight. I love but this, this let us observe community. the customs of the locals. What's the happened? scholar's brow tenses. His voice spills into your skull. Ah. The spores connecting mind to mind. Proud member of the Society of Brilliance at your service. Or perhaps not. Your mind is far more complex than that of the fungi. Don't flirt with me. Never heard of the Society of Brilliance. Understandable. We are small in number and rarely stay in one place for long. Probably My colleagues and I are to working to improve conditions in the Underdark. You expect not to be this recognized. need not be such a dire, hostile place. Sounds like a fool's end. It's curious to find a surface dweller here. What has brought you down so deep? Exploring. I collect mushrooms. <laughs> Honestly, I kind of got lost. A common <laughs> phenomenon in the Underdark, I'm afraid. <laughs> Could I ask what you were searching for to begin with? My dick. Uh, I don't trust you. Uh, forgive me. Being inquisitive is in my nature. I've never seen a hobgoblin. The like feeling is mutual, friend. I have only passing familiarity with the surface races. But I found that there is as much to learn from an individual as there is from a community. Oh, well, yes. So it is with the Myconids. They live in harmonious unity. But That's each intriguing. has a it's unique not just, you know, personality. Research sounds like a dangerous prospect. Yes, but it has abundant natural resources. I like how this is. It's water cool. orbs, Trillimac. I've studied them for years. There is rare magic in the Underdark too. 
Fares Res. It radiates from the Earth, warping teleportation and divination magic. This is not a wasteland. It is a glorious ecosystem. Every civilization here could thrive without conflict. I do enjoy a good bargain. If anything in my private collection is to your liking. Oh my god, it's a load of hobgoblin porn. I'll take the lot. <laughs> um, so we've read these, haven't we? So, well, maybe I should look to the ones he's got. He's got books. He's got books. Missives of Candle Keep. We'll do a swapsy. Oh, I already had that one. Never mind. Journal. Is it a year, eh? Yeah, that's the one I just got. Yeah, I didn't need that. Well done, you made some money off me there. A gate, a gas, a gog. A what? This means uh, I'm, not, I'm not dealing with them. <laughs> you can have the creepy bottles. I'm not going to use them. They scare me too much. I did a read of them uh, at some point, but I'm not going to sell the bone off the boy. You take me for some kind of evil genocidal maniac. Why are you looking at me like that? Ooh. Wants it? I want it for my own precious. Yes. We shall solve that. I um we had some of this other stuff down here. Uh, guess I gave you that. Do not need. Some potions of healing. Um, need to start spreading the joy when it comes to them. Stealing it. Just sell them. I don't know why you want them. It seems he does. Crazy. Oh yes. Very well. I have I'm mushrooms to catalogue. You catalogue them mushrooms, boy. Hmm. Ripple bark could sustain an entire village if seeded properly. I'm not going to risk. Is it I found the missing boots. Apparently. Oh. Mad in it. Who's trying to befuddle my poor car? Like? Hello, friend. Want master back? He treats me good now. Who's your master? Doesn't kick me anymore. Oh, we used to kick you. Hello, Dareth Boneglow. Seems the shrooms are letting in more people every day. You see a fella on his own on your way in. Dwarf. Balin's his name. What are you doing, Dareth? Right now. Waiting for that idiot Balin's return. Unless you've seen him, we don't have much to discuss. I don't think I have, have I? Very deception. Can you describe Old. him? Blue tunic, 
Dumb as a stick. I'm the same. Right. Never mind. Bye. Hmm. Hi, gang. The pause spores. Is it you? You're the sovereign? The boots. Maybe I can convince him to give me the boots. Are you sovereign? You're called sovereign. <laughs> Let's do a full-on save. Hello, Sovereign! Fleshwalker. Tongue talker. Far you've come. It's that tongue working, baby. Reach into memory. Tell me of home. Okay. My home is wherever I travel. Fill your heart with memories of your most treasured places. Envision the banks of the Kionthal, green and fertile. Imagine the bustle of the city's marketplace. The why? Um, banks it of the Kionthal. cringes Kionthar. in response to your sunny vision. Sorry. It reveals its own home in reply. A humid cove filled with decaying myconid corpses. Love what you've done with the place. God destroyed my people. Oh. I am a sovereign with no circle. I do not belong here. I am not oh. here. I grow among them, yet I am not of them. What do you mean? What does he mean? What are you? Hook horror spore servant. Monstrosity stares blankly. The voice that echoes within you belongs not to it, but the sovereign. Leave this one. Come to me. We must speak. Thought we did. That's interesting. What's a little stench in exchange for a lot of power? That's true. I uh, just spoke to you. Like, what's going on? I grow. I'm very confused. Hello. Can we chat? Mossy Maker did. Seek me. I did. You have nothing to fucking say. That's curious. What is? Hey, the way he does this. Oh. This <laughs> the lock picking is impossible. At least we figured out it's a door. Bloody smarty pants. Smarty pants we are. I thought they were about to get jiggy with it then. I was like, oh Jesus. I don't know why I thought that. Up we go. Oola. Don't. Hello. Her condition is familiar. Poison. Poison derived from a wild weed common to the Underdark. I've been there. She'll need an antidote soon. Most likely held by the poisoner. I could end your suffering if you want. There, the boots. Who did this? Dwego slashed me. Oh. Dwego poisoned you, perhaps they have a cure. <laughs> Graze. Don't share. Talking hurts. 
Leave me. Please. Um, let's uh, quick save this one. I've got advantage. We'll take the 14 and we'll add some of the cheeky extras to it. I know quite a bit. Dwarves, Dwergar have innate resistance to poison and thus no need for intricate bruise. Oh. Though deadly, if left untreated, the poison can be cured by the antidote or natural remedies. More than one way to cure you. Um, we're an antitoxin. I, th I thought it, I had antidotes. So. Just chance it. Is that what we're doing? God, it's fast acting. Ah, God. Whatever that is, I needed it. Fine. <laughs> Why are you helping me? Does there have to be a reason? Down here? Tends to be. <sighs> but I'm nearly good to get on my feet. I thank you for your help, but I've got to get moving. Oh, it hurts. Carl's garters. Oh, I don't have time for this. Yeah, My kid hard. need me. What is going on? You're in no condition to help anyone. Maybe not, but you are. Oh, for fuck's sake! I need you to rescue my kid. I was just helping you. We can pay. We're Ironhand Clan, best artificers in Baldur's Gate. Okay. We were on an expedition down here when the Dwergar snatched us up. I got away, but not the others. The Greys have them digging out some old ruin across the lake. What was the Just mining for materials. Nothing unusual. She's lying. The briefest hesitation, but enough. She's lying. But our work pays well. Help my clan, and we'll make it worth your while. I swear. You're lying. I don't think I have any inspiration, do I? I would do. Let's see what happens. Love it. Fine. It's complicated, but my clan has trouble back in the city. A blood feud. A feud we with blood. We were searching for something to turn the tide. That's all she I can say. Use a knife. But Kill it's a worth lot more. a lot to Spill us. More blood. Understand? No. Enough evasion and explain it. Look, you've done me a good turn and you deserve the truth. But that's as much of it as I can tell. I swear it. Okay. If you need to go your own way, I respect that. But still. You can go I'm your asking. own way. All right, I'll do what Thank I can. You. Only wish I could go with you. My fucking right ass. <laughs> I nabbed these boots from the greys when I ran. I'll feel better knowing you're using them to kick some dwegger ass. It's a good job we got the I'll same size feet. I escape and uh, wait here, I suppose. Not much choice, eh? No. Not at all. What are the boots? Are they good? They point to turn up wearing them. Really. Boots of speed. Feather laced and flexible of sole, these boots have been used to round up and outrun many a foe. Click heels, class actions. Intriguing. Well, we'll keep hold of them for now. We might give them to Dwayne and say he's, she's dead. Like those corpses. Sovereign Sovereign's sport. thick fingers stroke the corpse oh. at its feet. A droning melody greets you as the creature turns its gaze to you. Your heroes are to see. I show you a memory. Watch 
and listen. It looks so cool. A violent vision grips you. Dwergar, dark dwarves chopping Myconid remains. I see him. They broke our peace. They killed our young. The dirty bastards. The suffering song slows to the pace of a dirge. It is still in mourning. We laid waste to many, but intruders remain. Lakewood. I know. The sovereign song halts as it measures your worth. You want me to kill I all sense of your resolve. You will find Dwergar invaders near Lake. Interesting Sage. for the fungi to call them rot. Cleanse the rot. Destroy them. Happily, sir. Dwergar invaders, huh? I'd like to hear their side of the story first, but all right. Oh, fair enough. Why did they attack? Deep purple swirl into familiar shapes. Gnomes in mining gear, chased by Dwergar. The Dwergar seek a gnome. It is a guest. <laughs> Number of fugitive gnomes. Admirable of The sovereign says nothing, but you hear appreciation in its song. I was being slightly sardonic, but what? When the hell did you do to that we corpse? We breathe life into our enemy's flesh. The dead make a fine host for my growing children. If I die <laughs> down here, destroy my corpse. Real. Don't worry. I wouldn't hesitate. <laughs> they sold such power. How am I to gain this energy? Not. The spores here only the circle. You would say that though, wouldn't you? They dance Keeping all the best the stuff for yourself, aren't you? Ah, uh, fine. The sovereign gifts you one more vision. A wall of vines parting to reveal glowing light. Riches of magic and mind. <coughs> Cleanse the rot, and they are yours. This mic and it speaks my language. Service. We will await word. There's plenty going on down here. Goodbye. Good to catch up. Good to see you all. Uh huh. Find Bale and the mushroom picker. Looks like there's a way out that way. Let's head back to the beach. Beach. Nicky Minjaj. Let's just go about the place. See what's going on. Something over there. Well spotted, Carla. We'll take it all, you could say that. I thought I was encumbered then, I was like, are you having a laugh? Hello, mate. Gex the talker, not me. Back off. Didn't want to talk to you, mate. Just having a wonder. There. Play that another time. And then Holvik. Looking at this faded logbook. The inside cover reads Borrow Warden Millionaire. The pages are lined with neat calculations, equipment logs, the expedition notes. The final entry reads Expedition 42. Back after a 10 day in the northern quadrant, two potential mining sites scouted. Discovered a vein of Arendor. Well, so did a bang up job, organised shifts, and led the first dig. Whether or not, he'll be a great Borrow Warden one day. And he needs to keep his temper in check and practice reading the stone. He's as blind as a surfacer sometimes. Planning to take him out later along the Ebon Lake to practice. That's nice. So somehow I've agreed to murder all these chaps, is it? One of those things, eh? Cheers. Oh, poor bugger. That's the 
lumps of their own flesh. <laughs> of course they do. Oof. Is that the bullet? Is he back? Dread Hollow. Over here. Easy path. Don't want to draw any attention. That'll do. You run over here. I still haven't given anyone potions. Just an idiot. Damn, it's good to be alive. Don't say that. It's the same bastard as before. So he's still got a bit of bit of injuring. Oh, we have a level three now, do we? Let's give it a go. Fall, damn you. Ooh, we didn't like that. Oh, we did not like that. I've got this L cart. Yeah. Oh, I heard, I heard the sound of an elk. Why can't I do that? Casting spells is blocked. Oh dear, who's here? Another. Run at him. What's all this? What? Have I missed something? <laughs> oh, this is my extra attack, I think. Yes! Victory awaits. It does, but you're fucking miles away. Why are you so far away? You silly thing. Give that a go. Oh. Taking position. That was well done. You know what? Why not? Another surge. Here's another spell slot. He's a big bastard. Um, oh, here we are in. Oh, where's Mon JJ? Is he too far away? What's going on? No, he's he just had a shit initiative. It seems. Am I still hidden? I might be. All right, time to skulk about. Don't waste a step. Move over there. Damn it! Well, look at that, eh? Oh, lazy was dead then. <laughs> nice little nap. Ooh, blood guzzler gab. What survival checks do we keep failing here? Tombstone. The rock under your feet juts upwards, forming a perfectly engraved tombstone oh, is this the dog? with a small epitaph. In memory of Myrna, a shining Aww. light in this dark world. 
May you forever gaze upon the lake you Aww. love to play in. And a bundle of autumn crocus next to the AC. I knew we'd read something about it. The wind softly rustles the flower petals. Somehow, the grave feels whole again. There's the arcane tower. Oh, that was just a nice thing to do. <laughs> oh. Blood guzzler gab. Yeah, it's crap. When an enemy damages the wearer, the wearer gains wrath for one turn. Yeah. Well, I had you right off me, old mugger. Bullet. Oh, and he was guarding the other pet's grave. Oh. By the hells, what is that? Oh, we saw a, a fucking Something mad dirty version of one. Almost like an invisible hand. Hi! <laughs> oh, you turned a bit faster than I would have liked. Oh, who are you? Up there in the initiative order. Um, light. Get scratching. Fuck him up. Um, have it. You've got quite a bit of health on you. But, um, pretty astounding. Time is fleeting. Tim. Who are you, fellow the Forgotten? Finish the mass with. We found a Suso tree. Oh. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know how to activate it. It's like, that's a fair shelter. I just totally forgot that I could activate it in that moment. But if I had... Yeah, I would have been um, able to take advantage of it a bit better. But never mind, we live, we learn, we love, we laugh. And we die horrible, horrible deaths. One day I'll catch a break. Shouldn't have held on to that. Better be cautious. There you go. Now this is my happy place. Hi there, friend. Uh -huh. I don't think I can do that from where I am, can I? I can. I do have a massive disadvantage. So let's um, move a bit closer. And then... Branding smite range. Give it a go. Wasn't that just shit? Just do a normal ranged attack, I suppose. Carlac. Who it is? Victory awaits. Let's get up there. Um. Oh, we got an action surge back because we had a little short rest we did. Try again. <laughs> you can't! You've used it all! No! I'm an idiot. But we knew this. Well, you cast a saving throw, did you? Ooh, we get an extra attack because of Carlax shit. Love it. Ooh, Misty Step. I forgot you could do that. I'm ready. We don't want to. We don't want to blow our load a bit too quickly, do we? Um, let's try 
this bad boy out then. What have we got? Acid. Owl. Detonation. Thunder. Oh no, it hurts my people as well. So sorry, Carl. <laughs> I'm an idiot. Um, yeah, I don't want to use them yet. Oh! Well. That's not good for some of us. It's not good to last much longer. I think he spotted Monjaja. <laughs> You leave her alone. Bounder. Um. Oh dear, oh dear. Well, you're hypnotized though, so that's okay. You are not. Make way. Um, not enough movement, he's right there! Gosh darn it and dastardly dash it all. I oh, just hit him. Oh, yeah. I forgot that, but I always forget that it's like, it's, well, it's going to hit your party as well. It's like, there's none of this. <laughs> Nonsense about uh, no friendly fire or whatever. Have it. <laughs> Too heavy to shove, are you? Feel the butt of my sword, little bastard. That's right. Need to act fast. Bloody doom as well. well. Let's move out of here. Uh, doesn't cure paralysis. It uh, doesn't cause hypnosis. Which is a shame, really. I haven't got enough movement for that. I've got 19 health. Let's give this a go. Wasn't bad. Ah, healed yourself up a bit. Always good. Oh. Reinforcements. Carlac, I love the confidence. I do, you know, you know I'm so into it. And we have to do this again, do we? Again we do it! Why can't I do it? Why is casting spells blocked? Oh, because I'm by the magic tree! I get it. 4 to 15, 4 to 15. Have this again. Um, oh, I thought also no attack of opportunity, which is good. Let's just cause you to have to do some shit. Ha ha! Face this way. Jobs are good. Well, hopefully this will be the end of you. No, of course not. Had to be too bloody simple. That is lovely, jubbly. Uh, so you stand in the front line. Got to 
We'll have a cheeky go at inflicting some wounds on you. Ooh, that looked like it hurt. That did look like it hurt. Back up. Ooh, the heal. Excellent work. Right. I will hide. I will do this. That looked like it might have hurt you a little bit. Oh, I can get him. Go on. Well, somehow I put Mon Jager at the front and centre us all. Yes, all right, fellow. Far, fellow. Oh, he's got bleeding or something on him, hasn't he? Well, you did call for reinforcements, but I don't see them. I'm just going to hit you. Fuck it. I don't know what that did. Ah! No doubt. Hit him. Okay, that's a good start. We'll give this a go. Probably won't do anything. Oh! Hurts me a little bit. Quite surprised by that, but I'm not going to complain too much. On the move. <laughs> we get ready to come to you. Do you have enough? This is a chancy one. Morning. Oh no! Aha! Oh shit! Get back down. <laughs> Pop over here. Have a little word with yourself. Excellent stuff. So if we come over here. On my way. Breathe hard. Move with care. I can't get to him. Oh, that's a shame, isn't it? Um, let's just, boy, catch. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, that counters as a fucking attack. I'm so sorry. Because <laughs> I was hidden. <laughs> For fuck's sake. <laughs> we'll do it like that then. <laughs> it's like the bear all over again, but I actually care it's about this. Like oh, I'm so sorry. Just go and help her for now. Wait. Give this a go. Hello, friend. Oh, ho, 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 ho. oh get down. Now I don't have enough movement to get there. <laughs> I'm fury. I am death. Oh, we've certainly got a bit of an advantage here. Uh, 
Ah, mais... <laughs> and again! I missed. Just back up. <laughs> My faith will protect me. I had no doubt. Um, let's bugger things up. Mon J just got a chance here. Yeah. So actually, I'm going to do the right thing and heal myself a little bit. Run away! And I'll overdo it. Just for the heck of it. Well, don't we all feel accomplished, everyone? <laughs> thank you, thank you. Don't care, don't care. Scribbled notes. Scattered notes are scrawled by a chaotic hand. Protector. Guardian of the Adamantine Forge. From Magma Rose only in Magma Destroyed. Hot hammer. Hot hammer! Where? A small map is drawn underneath, marked by numerous X's. The following words are scratched beneath it. Dawn knows! Something about an Dawn Adamantine Forge hidden here. Amazing. Seems it's guarded by a protector of some sort. Something weak to this hot hammer. Intriguing. Um, let us use our oh, short sure rest. Help. Make a proper save. <clears throat> so what were you doing up here, fellow? Taking some time off work? <laughs> ah, more of these bad boys. Ah, so because they're anti-magic, I'm sure... I could use them in some way to disable the turrets, or if I got close to them, would my field have shut them down, maybe? So there was technically a way to um, get around all that. Half eaten gnome. Potato. Sex, bed roll, ribs, rotten fish. Oh, lovely. And carrots? How'd you get a carrot down here? Sounds like the opening line to a joke, doesn't it? How'd you get a carrot down here? You follow the snowman's nose? Um, oh, a tattered scroll. An unfinished conjuration scroll marred by teeth marked and dried slobber. A few words emerge from the muddle. Skalanixen's Feld! Magma! Magma, magma, magma! Magma, magma, magma! It's Pokemon! Iridian City! I'm on the road to become the greatest trainer. There's more of the bastards. We've discovered a waypoint to get here, though. So, don't you worry. We'll be back for you, dear boy. We do need to get some bark from the tree. Should we take the challenge? Yes. What's that save I just created? That one. Overwrite that one. Let's take the challenge to him, dear boy. All with me. That's it. All right. Time to skull. Get up. Okay. Don't waste a step. That's a friendly looking shadow. These boots have seen everything. Oh, what a start! What a start! Why wouldn't you have this always on? Oh, you can turn it on and off, I assume that. Oh, I see it will automatically use my bonus action. If applicable. I get it. I do, I do. I see, I see. Get over the way. Good lad. 
time to strike. My this. path be true. Baram, you. Not enough movement. Lucky. That. Oh, he's hamstrung. Let's cook with fire, baby. Sounds good. First things first. And then, oh, oh, oh. we can lacerate him. Get in there. Oh. Reckless attack. Ooh. Got to keep fighting. On I go. Yes, I believe in you. There's not really a lot you can do, is there? Fireballs, spit a while. Ignis. You just. You just stay over here. Oh, he hated that. Oh, attack of opportunity. He pounced. He's gone for the weak one. That annoyed me. That annoyed me a lot. A little help, please. Jesus. Shadowheart, dear girl. I'm ready. You're, you're ready to die. Have both of them. You've earned it. Okay, let's quick save. That was good using the environment, using everything. You, it's I, been a long day. I am just the man. I'm ready for on about it. I'll have that. Get away from it. Get away. Get away from it. Is that going to stay there forever? Maybe. <laughs> no, not forever. In which case. We just wait it out. Bibber, bang! It's quite cool. Quite amusing. There's another one. Stay over there. And that. And you. Get all the bibber bangs out the way. I sure. <laughs> so close to perilous, perilous death. Oh, look, there's a twat up there. Severed arm. Lovely. If we can use that for our camp supplies, I'll be very upset. <laughs> Sharp, deep, and still fresh. Some monster did this, marking its territory. It's probably the ones we've been fighting. Not exactly blowing the mines here. All in. The way down, I see. 
Down I go. What can see us? Better be cautious. Just oh dear, oh dear. Bad idea. Dave Trainer. That's who it is. Down with the sickness, is he? I've killed him. I've killed us all. I think this has gone badly. Did he make it? He did. Oh, why did he stop there? It survived. <laughs> He survived so long. <laughs> I mean, let's be honest, Miguel. <laughs> Did you expect <laughs> any other outcome <laughs> but not? Okay. Hey, I have a theory. Fire was the problem. What if I just that? No, no, bad idea. Oh, stop! Stop! Ah, shouldn't have hidden. Bibba bang! 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 A mushroom that releases dangerous spores. Highly flammable. This is quite a predicament. I know that. Scroll. Escape. My bag, please. I've dropped it somewhere. Hold up a scroll of mystery. Yes! That's yes! <laughs> Throw the scroll to him. Minus one strength! Oh! oh. <laughs> I didn't know I had any minus attributes. I thought I'd uh, even myself out. Ah! Oh. I'm fine. I just have to. And then. Here! What? Finally, breathe. Ah, right. As uh, what were you saying? <laughs> what are you doing down here? I was looking for Delith. She's. She'll be worried sick. I must. Need to go. For you. <laughs> Your trouble. He's a bit strange. Yeah. Nearly set that one off, you fucker. Oh. Now we can appreciate some fireworks. Probably. <laughs> Ah, damn it. Oh, no, nope, there you go. <laughs> I was in the middle of all that. <laughs> hey, 
think you're getting away with it. And you. <laughs> anyway, I'll wait for that to clear because those fucking idiots will run through it. And you. Oh, well, wasn't that bloody useful? Oh, there's loads of stuff. Have a bit of that. Any of the others? Whoop. Some red wine. Someone's having a nice little evening plant. Some dildos on the shelf as well. <laughs> That's definitely one of my moments of the season so far. <laughs> I've killed them! I've killed them all! <laughs> Come to me, friends! Oh, this is now the safest place. Scroll of Featherfall. Scroll of Misty Step. Thankfully, I survived a tremendous <laughs> explosion as, well, none of us shall survive. forget that that's what a dig check is uh, but I I'll never find it I don't know why I'm bothering to find out <laughs> never mind but again fantabulous to know wow we've really we have really opened up the underdark haven't we coming down here this is exactly what I wanted to achieve what's that Is this the mysterious basement, is this? Craziness. Madness. Um. I can't go that way. doing I don't have disadvantage I'm hidden what do we have here <clears throat> why is that one HP that's ridiculous Oh, we saw one of yours, you bastard. <clears throat> out of sight, out of mind. Oh! Didn't know what was happening. Didn't know what was happening. He was getting shot. That's what was happening. If everyone else minds their business, I'll be fine. Died. Again. Hawk horror! We're just going to have to try that for now. Yeah, that was a bit shit, wasn't it, really? Uh, we can climb up them. Should we leg it that way? Watch this. Things first. 
I don't have enough rage. I've got it. That's mad. Oh, he's gonna pounce! Oh. Heaven. <gasps> Sent. Um, let's try a bit of this on him, eh? Aha, you're ensnared, you bastard. Who's got the advantage now, eh? Me! Yes, have that. And any of the others. Hmm. Ooh, wow! Good there. Lacerate the bastard. Main end attack him. Action surge. Main end attack him. <laughs> Who's the little bitch boy now? Nothing going on with you. Okay, so this looks like a path up <clears throat> to get to where we want to be on this here tree. Another one of them. Lovely. And a little bit of bark. I've never seen a tree like that. The bark must be a rarity. Okay, so. Found the mushroom picker, we'll go back and close that off. We found a bit more about the Adamantine Forge, hidden deep within the Underdark. We need some kind of... He's weak to magma, and we need some kind of hot hammer! Uh, we already had some... Forge the weapon. And if we just go back to the um, tiefling we're going to murder soon, that'll be alright, won't it? <clears throat> Well, we need to go and speak with her. Um, so let's go finish off our route there. To clear as much fog of war as we can. <clears throat> I've enjoyed these fights. Like, it's starting to get more of a hang of it and stuff. <clears throat> this is a very good game. Controversial. I know. Sharp, deep, and still fresh. Like Someone's my deck. A deep hole. Even with your keen eyesight, the hole below you soon plummets into an abyss of impossible darkness. Your call Hello. echoes as it plunges downward, before gradually fading away. Well, there's definitely something going on with that, isn't there? Yeah, I wonder if I, if I cast Feather Fall and jump. <laughs> oh, can't jump. <laughs> uh, what was he doing? It's our friends. Can we come too? Is this a way in? Oh, bloody marvellous. No. It saved me a trip. Hello. Look at that. Got my useless old man back. I suppose that's your doing. You don't have to sound so angry. His hands are empty as a whole. We'll have to send him back out soon enough. It's a miracle he survived. You should take him home. Please. Balin's got a job to do. We can leave when he's done it. <coughs> Just choking on some water. <coughs> no love lost between the two of you. Love? 
never heard of it. <coughs> Thalen's meek now, mm. but he used to be a rotten old bastard. Treated me like an old shoe for 70 years. Losing his to? mind was the only good he ever did by me. There you go. And that's why your goat loves them now. Collecting <coughs> noble stock. Mm. Valuable mushroom. We have a shop in Boulder's Gate. The locals go mad for it. What makes it so valuable? Really nothing it can't cure. Blindness, poison, hair loss. Tell Neil. Could it cure Balin's memories? Probably. But Balin in his right mind wasn't worth half a half of noble stock. I know him better than anyone. Got the scars to prove it. Da. <clears throat> that old idiot. Cutie. Now open that for me once I've done the deed. Dirty, dirty deed. Okay. <clears throat> Go and kill all the Duga. We have to be more watchful next time. Find the temple. Talk to Sergeant Thrym. Free the deep claws. And up there as well. A way out. Intriguing. Ah, yes, and there's a big loop round here. Let's go and do that. Pipperback. Might as well go myself. It was Pipperback. <clears throat> Excuse me, so sorry. <laughs> Goodbye, mushroom friends. See you all soon. Okay, so we're back at the village. As we head this way, ah, east, yes. If I look at my minimap, that will tell me in a smaller way happens in the big map. Ah. Ah, okay, so it looks like it'll loop around a bit, but that's how I got into the colony, so. Come back up to the northeast. <clears throat> and I think that's where I first met my new mushroom friends. Yes, I remember this little pathway. Excuse me. So we could get over there, but there's stuff up there as well. Let's go this way first before we circle back. I'm getting a bit confused, doesn't quite match what's happening on the map. I must come up and round. Oh, we've got some red. Can't risk being in open view. It's another Minotaur! Fighting it out now, aren't we, boy? I'm going to Need run to up this way. way forward. I am fury. I am death. Yes, you are, babe. Yes, you are. Let's get up out into the open. Yes. Stare at me, beast. Ah! Again. 
I'm gonna pommel straight. Lovely. Oh, there's a second one. My joy is lessened. Got to press on. Um, not a lot I can do, really. Ray of fear. Can I reach you? Angry boy. Oh, he saved us. My turn. It is your turn. Yes, well met. Oh, let's try this bad boy out. She can fucking run. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Stop. Oh! How'd you miss from there? <laughs> We've got advantage against. Uh, there's not a lot shitty else I can do, really. Other than just hit him. You know what? Sometimes that's enough. <laughs> Excellent. That's it. Oh, I don't think he liked that. I do not think he liked that. No, I do not. No, I do not. I should have coated me fucking bow with some venom. I will do it now, eh? Please. Oh, he's angry. Oh. Me, Carla. I didn't know you were in such poor fiddle. Uh -huh. so just move over on. here, get out the way of it. My word. Uh -huh. Hold on. Drink. That's good. Okay. Yeah, so just hit the bastard. Hit the bastard. Take a bit of a second wind. Nothing else. Survival is all that matters. Bye. Where could he be? I'm threatened. Damn it. Oh. Well, it was a nice idea, eh? Um. Okay. Ooh, it's been a while. And a flourish. Oh, ho, ho, ho. oh! Whatever you were doing was stupid. As evidenced by that. Oh. Just can't get the minotaurs these days. Trap. Be cautious. Lovely. And you blast mine.
Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Why did you fail to notice? We have mugged the minotaurs. Lovely. Ooh, amulet of the unworthy. Is Sounds like just the sort of thing I did. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just get straight to the long rest, I say. Yes. We've had fights aplenty. Hello, Albert. You smell very delicious, but I will not bite you. <laughs> you are very kind. Pet him. Ooh. Right in the face. Ooh. <laughs> you're okay with it all scratch hope you're keeping well friend yes well, I can't leave we don't need to see it because we've seen it plenty but... um, no one wants to catch up on anything which is all well and good um Auto select as usual. All rest. Love it. Sleeping. <laughs> Hurry towards the sound. I thought they were killing each other then. <clears throat> What's going on? I thought there was something wrong. Just a bad dream. Oh, it's all right. Goblins had me in a cage. Poked me with pointy oh, sticks. Oh, they're friends. Hush now, it was just a nightmare. We're safe here, with Master. Ah, I'll settle in. Give it a little time. You two look gozy He's together. Still young. I remember Gonwick would let me sleep under his cloak when I was a pup. It helps. <laughs> so long as nobody's getting hurt. No hurt, scratch. Never. Easy now. The Guardian's just looking out for us. Did you call I, him master? I, I suppose I did. <laughs> You've been good to us. To both of us. Gonwick would be happy I'm with you, I think. Like it here. Warm fire. Scratch reminds me of Big Brother. Wait, did you say you have a brother? Used to. Mother ate him. Ah, as they do. You're both welcome here. <laughs> oh, it scratches! Ah! Thank you. Best achievement ever. I'm so in love with you I'll be forever true Oh Hey yeah Hang on a second Oh you smell very delicious but I will not bite you Pet him. Ooh, Scratch. Hope you're keeping well, friend. Pet him. <laughs> They've had their pets. <laughs> Excellent. No. No. <laughs> and stay down. <laughs> Be wary. This place is trapped. Well, we knew that. <laughs> and we camped right on it. <laughs> okay. 
Anything up here? Just another way around for some reason. Why not? <laughs> More rumblies. Aha. A rustic chest. Uh, Lockpick. Aha. Good. Critical failure. Very good. Much better that time. Is that it? Well, the Zentarin. Mercenaries and cutthroats. Useful friends, if you can afford them. I right know. <laughs> you say the words mercenaries and cutthroats. <laughs> I'm gonna quick save it. <laughs> Call me crazy. Actually, don't. It triggers me. <laughs> what did you say? XP or something. Heavy chest. Trap. Be cautious. Okay. Excellent. Oh. <laughs> and now I have to lock pickers. Love it. Cheers. Chest. Still enough. I rolled a four. And more than enough. Take them. Wonder where this leads. Quick save. Doesn't work. Doesn't work. We may never know. We climb over. There you go. <laughs> Down I go. Let's let everyone catch up. Look at them. Legends. Legends or. With the animals, talk with the animals, sleep and shit and squawk with the animals. It's somewhere over there. Ancient Selenite journalists. Do some reading. I can't sleep without the moon and stars. As a child, I prayed to them before I ever even knew Saloon's name. Is that blasphemy? When I walk the battlements, the only light I see is the glow of their eyes out there, waiting. I know the High Initiate is making a plan. He'll get us out of this. We're making a stand. Moon Maiden, fair lend us your light to guide us home in dark of night, to keep us on the path of right, ever burning, ever. The last line of prayer succumbs to blurring as if stained by something wet. Staff of the Moon Maiden. Yes, we're getting back round to it all now, aren't we? <clears throat> I 
Meridian City. What is that? It's a quick save event. That's what the fuck it is. A slender drow blade impales the stone before you, keeping a silent vigil. Consider what the appropriate ritual might be. Oh, I like that. Indeed. We'll never know. Go on. Let's use inspiration. That's what it's for. Apparently it's not. You can't recall anything this esoteric. There are too many rituals about hmm. swords to count. Yank it. <laughs> no matter how you grip or tug, the sword remains firmly lodged in the stone. Hope no one was watching. Just leave. <laughs> uh, my quick save is not to scum stuff like that in case I die. I didn't die. <laughs> I also didn't figure out how to turn off these defenses. Let's try and do that now. Cheat the system by warping around them. Weren't expecting that, were you, Selenites? Really? Can I lockpick it? I can. It's a 20. Didn't work that time. Try again with my thieves tools, I think. I've got plenty of them. And we did. I like these moments where you like do finally do things you did like saw hours and hours and hours ago. Crushed body. On gold. Down it ring. Oh dear. Crushed in Munchkin land. That's <laughs> is where the dwarves live. <laughs> <Dot, dot. laughs> this is a journal of some high initiates. It always felt vainglorious to think my deeds worthy of a personal journal. But as I watched the drown mass outside our gate, I realised my arrogance is already of a far costlier sort. I see no harm in tipping the scales a little further. Not for me, but for those who follow me down into the dark. They deserve to be remembered. Initiate Norm Remy's lost in the deep tunnels as we fell back from the drow. Initiate Thulk of the Northern Wastes, grazed by an arrow and succumbed to poison. Initiate Bree Brecker, who stood against a drider with her mason's hammer. And initiates they are, the entire company, for they have seen and suffered too much to become novices. We've collapsed the tunnel behind and have made ready to open the gate. Perhaps we can carve a path through, and if not, I enclose a list of names. Let the animals show that whatever their end, the cause was the same. One high initiate Jarrus wished to stamp his name in the history of his church. He sought to forge a path through the darkness, not realising there are some places the light was never meant to touch. He was a fool. Well, look how much we've uncovered. It's crazy. What is happening here? I feel I could have got there and I've missed it, so I'm going to go that way. Um, so I think from here the easiest way is that my little sneaky pathway. Would I jump? Yes. 
Come on, the rest of you. Good. Always knew you had it in your shadow arts. Oh, there's the permanent fire I set up. Yes. I did forget. <laughs> Maybe I'll come at it from the other way. <laughs> See if I've set, somehow set up an intern eternal fire. <laughs> it happens from time to time. To the best of us, of course. Of course it does. All right, we don't need all this. Just create custom market. Jesus. That's the first time I've ever placed a custom marker. <laughs> I was just thinking, can you place custom markers? And you can. No. It's <laughs> the payment explosion. Oh, yeah. Better take a closer look. They're not real. They're not all real. Try again. <laughs> Can't see camera, thank you. <laughs> I could see he could do it. There he goes. That one's a real. Can you get up there? I was thinking that seemed too high. Mm. <gasps> oh. I'm sure I have something for this. Or did I drink it during my. Worrying times taking over the arcane thing. Oh. Well, now I'm up here. Oh no. Oh no! Some of these mushrooms are illusions. <laughs> you think? <laughs> Let's try again. Oh, this foul mushroom. I love how janky the camera is. Is that right spot right there? So trying to save a sneeze when you know it's too late. Watch out! He's got a gun! <laughs> I'm not going to use a dimension door on that. 
still got two misty step. Lying. <laughs> That'll do it. Why not? we go I tell you what if you can all try it I'd love to see it <laughs> see what happens mushroom circle now this has obviously got just something to do with uh, another is there nothing real down here? Oh, ho, ho. That's cool. Well, let's uh, quick save. That's clearly a trick one outside, isn't it? It's just to the overgrown tunnel. I see, I see, I do, I do. And we killed that hag. You. Oh, he's real. Is he? <laughs> is it just another way to get to under there? Is it? Is there no way around this gnarled door? He doesn't seem as chatty as the other one was. Oh well, we explored it and we know now. Quick save just before that. What was that? 22, 22. Let's just load back there before we came through here. There's <laughs> probably no point, but I, don't, I couldn't see whether they'd be flying that way more and often. They're all up here. I don't know if they'll even be able to get back down. Actually, let's try We can try the other uh, mushroom circle, but I think it's some sort of trap. I could be wrong, though. <clears throat> we shall soon see. I can no longer fly. <laughs> Out the way, illusion. What? Hey, okay. And that's how you do it. Oh, that's sick. Okay, yeah, that was all right then. That was worth it. Sort of worth it. We uncovered a mystery. We uncovered a mystery we did indeed. Let's get back into the sunshine for a little bit. Let's go see if we can do anything with this forge malarkey. Let me in, friends, dear, dear friends. It's amazing how many hours of stuff I've done since um, I was actually going to murder these. <laughs> but when the time comes, it shall be all the sweeter. Or I will be of higher level. <laughs> More skill and experience. <laughs> Do you like? Do you like all my shit, Aaron? This is a good place for it. <laughs> Need anything else? <laughs> uh, no, I don't want the suspicious poison, Aaron. Why would you even offer me such things? Oh, 
I would like your 890 gold. I'll give you two gold. On that. I'm all right with them. I need to even them out a bit though. What have you got here? Medium. Medium. Light armor. 12 class. Now I've got my lovely drow stuff. Plus one stealth. So it doesn't do much more for me. That's got a slightly superior armor class, it does. That's like what I was wearing before, but it's plus two. Ring mail armor. 16. Ooh. One less slashing damage gain. A plus one bonus to strength saving throws and checks. Still got disadvantage on stealth checks, but it was always the case. No AC bonus from dexterity. AC bonus from dexterity limited to plus two. You're only wearing medium armor. Never mind. Uh, oh, there you go. Uh, any shite to get rid of? Both of these, of course. Um, again. Uh, we've read the journal of High Initiate Jarrus. You have the ring, you can have the shit armor. Some of the daggers there for you. No need to thank me. You are welcome. Uh -huh. Ice crystal. Sell it, I don't care. Uh Feeling pretty good about that. <clears throat> Let's see if our boy, our boy down here, Something close. You a smith of sorts. Used to be a bread and butter. Maybe we've told us about all this. Alas, my offerings are far more humble these days. Ooh. Hmm. Uh, take one less slashing damage. It's not nothing. Heavy armor. No AC bonus from dexterity. I don't know if that matters for any of them. One less armor, plus one. Oh, same as before, isn't it? Rare medium armor. I think it just says that for all medium armor, I see. Again, uh, plus one bonus. Don't have a disadvantage on stealth checks or whatever. Hmm. Hmm. Plus one bonus to dexterity saving throws. Plus one bonus to initiative roll. Ooh. 17 armor class. Take one less slashing damage. Fine fabric obscures the bulk of this chain mail, allowing you to mix in polite society. Plus two to armor class. It's tempting. 572. Should we try bartering? I don't know yet. I don't want this. Add. 
Uh, so put barter in just. Trader will be unhappy about this offer. I would have thought so. Resistance to slashing, but vulnerability to bludgeoning. Um, what have we got that's close? What's this? That, that's what I want! An idiot. I can't be bothered messing with that. <laughs> Just buy it. Nice one. Nice one. Okay, so you're not the man to go to about being the forged there. Action, not reaction. Have a little look. Where is it? Still got some ingots, I didn't sell. Where's? Have you already got it? Was I on you when I bought it? Yes. Okay. Oh, look at your fancy pants! Fancy pants, indeed. Piercing, piercing, conditional. There's an additional one to a piercing and tries to still have all their hit points. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. Done. Found you, Lord. Love it. Touch me and I'll bite your fingers off. Good Lord. I will. My dagger. Hey. Uh, yeah, you're looking good there. Does she react to that? Speak. No. She's not asked in the slightest. Looking for steel? I have, well, something close. I'm sure you do, dear boy. Now that. Right, what other shite have we got? We're selling you get the Anki armor. It's gone. Got to make the money back somewhere, you know what I mean? Oh, the ingots. Yes, there they are. You could actually use them. I'm saying. Um, do you have any better bows? Now I bought an arm for nine. Bought an eleven. Can I use short but uh, long bows? Can I? Why didn't I know this? That's a bit on for hundred and ten. I would say, wouldn't it? So my shield not provisioned. I'm with them. Branch. <laughs> okay. Let's have a look. Uh, uh, what I wouldn't do for better tools. Proficiencies. Short nose, martial. And cross but long so rape I can use a rapier. I already told you I don't have it. Is it worth steel? It? I have well something close. Not. Yeah, no, I know, but I just I haven't found any new bows in ages and I think the opportunity to just do two extra damage on occasion. Well actually yeah, it's a well it's a one D eight, yeah. So that makes sense. But I may as well just have it. I'm not spending my money on a lot. So why not?
And hopefully I'll find some at better points in the game. Well, obviously I will. But I just think it's mad I've not seen any since. Rapier! I uh, see there's no point now. I've got a much better weapon. So it was yours. Oh, oh, it's a heavy. It's a heavy. Oh! <laughs> I'm an idiot. <laughs> oh. We're going to show up about 5 to 10 rather than 4 to 11. So it's got a better lower um, thing. I can use light crossbows as well. 5 to 12. On the 8 plus 4. Weapon enchantment plus 1. Ooh, bugger. I just didn't look. I'm a moron. I'm a moron. Hunter's Mark. You have advantage against monstrosity type enemies. Five to ten, five to twelve. Do you know what? If it, well, it's the thing I'm going for, isn't it? That again. <laughs> I'm a moron. Never mind. Uh, detect thoughts. Might want to keep these. Poor people. Resistance to slashing. No, I'm just keep that. Not bothered. Not bothered, mate. Sleep. So a combined total of 24 hit points. We're past that, mate. Uh, animate dead. Blair burning can. Ah, I never get that up close. Darkness, scroll of dark vision. Detect though, it's dimension door. Delicious retreat, false life. Not a bad one. Speak with dead. Ray of sickness, enfeeblement. Oh, we don't need the. Mirror image. I'm going handy. Well, I've got back up with that through a uh, thingy. I just need to clean the decks out a bit. I'm just getting overwhelmed with all the shite in my radials. But never mind. That'll do for now. Okay, so you went. You ain't a shopkeep. Are you? Bet you will. Um, I think we might bring it to a close there. Then I think. If we go back down to the Underdark. There. Done. Let's go back. Let's go to our friend's place. Just feels wrong, really, doesn't it? Um. Haven't sure rested. How can I see if everyone's got all their shiz? How do I know how many uh, thingies I've used? We'll just go back to camp because it makes sense. We don't, I don't think we need to rest. I think we just did, didn't we? Yeah, because we had the Albert time. It was lovely. So we'll just stand here to end the day. We've done it, though. Oh. I need to tidy up these saves. I absolutely need to tidy up these saves. Um, but, oh, I entered a... A delve of self-destruction to a point uh, when I first went to the Underdark uh, <laughs> yesterday. It was, um, yes, <laughs> I was just stuck in turn-based mode getting past all the turrets because I had no way to destroy them. And as you saw, <laughs> you joined I had 
<laughs> practically nothing left. <laughs> but, um, thankfully, um, I had an extra save. I was like, I'm just going to start again and ignore that the Arcane Tower exists. And I got over myself, thank the Lord. And when I was editing the YouTube video, well, formatting the YouTube version to go up, I'd saw the. I'd missed quite a fair bit on the downstairs. And I had an inkling that flowers had something to do with it because petals were everywhere and stuff. And turns out if I'd just read the book that was in the room, would have exactly told me what to do. But never mind. Never mind. But we had some good fights there and stuff as well. Um, expanding the Underdark a little bit. So I think we'll, we'll delve straight in with um, murdering all of those uh, drown folk for the like of it, I think. Uh, but but uh, until then, if anyone's caught this on YouTube and enjoyed seeing whatever I've edited this down to and you want to see what happened live in those few seconds you missed, go and give me a follow on Twitch. But before you do, leave a like down below. And if you want to see more stuff like this by Secundu playing Baldur's Gate 3, then click the subscribe button, which is of course Latin. If you want to see more stuff like this, Secundu playing Baldur's Gate 3, click the bell, you'll then get notified when such videos appear, even if they're not Baldur's Gate 3, but if they're by me, obviously. But in the meantime, I'm going to leave you all with some dramatic music. Love you. Bye.